On the morning of Sunday, May 22nd, Friendship Park was bustling with activity during Orion Township's inaugural Kicking for a Cause kickball tournament. Eight teams took part in the tournament that acted as a fundraiser for Miracle Field and its nearly completed concession stand. The winning team would take home $10,000 to benefit the charity of their choice. We raised about $20,000 and half of that's going to go to finish our concession stand. Uh, the other half is going to go to the winning team. Actually, the winning team gets $10,000 for whatever charity they choose. The second place team gets $2,500. And then we have a Team Spirit Award for $1,000. So the team that is exhibiting the best Team Spirit out here will, will, won't go home empty-handed. And then the big trophy is, is like the Stanley Cup. It's better than the Stanley Cup. And that team will get to keep it and all year long, keep that trophy, whatever they want to do with it, but next year it'll be back. So it's going to obviously stay here. The Orient Township team was joined by teams representing Macomb Township, Bloomfield Township, Oxford, Rochester Hills, Simcog, and Lake Orion Community Schools. Macomb County and St. Clair County formed one unified team. In round one, Orion Township hosted Oxford. While the game started out as a defensive battle, Orion exploded in the fourth inning producing seven runs on its way to claiming a 9-2 victory. Former Detroit Lion Lomas Brown was in attendance to comment on the riveting action. I'm glad that they're out here. I hope they stretch before they started kicking the ball out. They got all the limbs limber and everything, but it's a great cause. It's for a great charity. So I'm glad that they're out here. We got a lot of participants, so it's nice to see everybody participating and getting back involved, getting back outside and trying to get back to normal. Watching uh, what little bit do you, that you saw so far, do you think anyone has a chance of going pro? <laughs> Well, if they got a pro league, it might be a couple of prospects out here. You know, I see the pitchers. A couple of pitchers got some strong pitching arms that they no pitch pro. it down there. And I see some legs. So I see I see some Cabrera-like legs out here. So, yeah, there's some talent out here. The tournament concluded with Bloomfield Township taking on Rochester Hills in the championship game. Bloomfield got on the scoreboard first to take a 1-0 lead in the second inning, but Rochester Hills scored two runs in the fourth to go out in front. At the top of the seventh and final inning, Rochester Hills was clinging to a 3-1 lead when soccer great Allison Vizanko sends one over the heads of the outfielders to drive in two runs and extend the lead to four. Bloomfield Township had one last chance at the bottom of the seventh, but after the final out, it was Rochester Hills claiming the championship with a 5-1 victory. Bloomfield Township received the second place prize of $2,500, and the Semcog team received a check for $1,000 for most spirit. Then, Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett presented the championship trophy and a check for $10,000 to his brother, Mayor Brian Barnett, and the Rochester Hills team, who then made a stunning announcement. We have an important announcement. First of all, thank you all for, uh, for coming out tonight. Our captains have an announcement. So, Orion, we appreciate you having us here today. And what we would like to do is donate this money back to you. It was awesome. Our team, Rochester Hills, we had 18, 20 people out here playing all day and probably three times that number of fans on a Sunday. So we have a great culture in Rochester Hills, and uh, this is going to be pretty fun to bring home and talk about this year. And then I got to admit, I got a little emotional there at the end when you presented the check back to Miracle Field. Was that the plan all along? No, uh, we. Uh, that wasn't really the plan all along, but they, they, I mean, when you see it, we, you know, watching the, the, the Miracle Leaguers play and uh, watching the fun they had, it was it was super cool. So we were happy to give it back. Chris, what's your reaction to them giving you the check back? Um, first nice thing my brother's ever done in <laughs> 44 years. And last, probably last too. Probably no, last. it's super cool. Um, it was a great day. Everybody had a blast. There was some competitiveness on, on show out here. We had a we had an ejection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, we'll see if Macomb, uh, Macomb County is invited back. Really. Uh, it was a great day. And, uh, it was, I mean, so, I mean, we really were, I mean, this half the money is going for charity. And uh, it was just a, what, what a cool, nice, amazing gesture of the Rochester Hills team to help us get our concession stand open. That wasn't our intent, but very cool. Yeah, no, and I, I take it. all the bad things I've said about my brother back <laughs> today. Yeah. Just, just from today only.
Named game MVP was Allison Vizanko, who scored a run, drove in two runs, and made a crucial catch in the bottom of the seventh to secure the win. I was actually brought in because my dad works for the city, but he is medically is not allowed to play. So they brought me in. So I think they call that a ringer. You knocked some runs in, you made a big catch. What was the day like for you? Uh, it was a great day. I mean, came in and had a lot of fun. I mean, just did what I could. How do you prepare for this? Uh, all the years of soccer. <laughs> oh, I see. It's great. And now here you are standing there with the check in your hand and the trophy. What's going through your head? Honestly, a lot of things right now, but I'm just happy we were able to bring it home. A ribbon cutting ceremony is planned for June 18th as the home plate concession stand celebrates its grand opening. It'll be staffed by Miracle League players, and proceeds from concession sales will benefit Miracle Field. From Friendship Park, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.